they it's 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 not just the money. The money's great that they they helped us do things, but this network and the other finalists is that's what we've learned so much from and really helped us advance. Uh, like I said, I grew up in Atlanta. We have a lot of connections with Georgia Tech. Andres was getting his PhD uh, back in, when we met in 2016. And uh, we, yeah, we got connected to all of the really awesome work that Andres is doing as part of the Sunshot Initiative at Georgia Tech. Well, uh, my name is Andres Cavieres. I am uh, originally from Chile. I have a background in architecture. And I decided after graduation in Chile that I want to do a, a PhD in a very specific topic that was only offered at Georgia Tech. So um, I came on here um, in the field of computer-aided design, uh, software applications for architectural engineering construction. I've always been interested in prefabrication and construction, automation and construction. And during that process, I got invited to be part of a team that was involved in that uh, grant, Robert just mentioned, the Sunshot Initiative, focusing on how to streamline and reduce costs of solar installation. Yeah, so we met back in 2016. I think we realized that we had really similar goals and how we saw and how the way we saw that we can make a really big impact in solar just through focusing on making it faster, cheaper, easier to install. Uh, so we decided to launch this company to, to uh, really take some of those ideas, flesh them out, and turn them into commercial products. The DOE's publications of us uh, made their way out to the West Coast where Greg's base, uh, and Greg reached out because he was, he was interested in our product. So he uh, we, he joined our team what, back in April or so after he after we won the, the last stage of the competition. So I'll let mm -hmm. Greg introduce himself. I, I've been in, involved in the business, believe it or not, since 1979. Uh, I worked for Canadian Solar for a number of years um, and other module manufacturers as well as Sun Edison and other construction installation firms and we were talking about mc4 connectors and the evolution of those this one this one is beautiful in its simplicity and its effectiveness i i love your uh slogan if you will making solar energy click when i the reason i had that as our logo is because you can actually hear our product lock into place mm -hmm. and when did it click for you when was that aha moment that the V clip is what you wanted to develop, and then uh, you know, in turn, enter it into this challenge. So, so the idea is, goes back to what Andres was working on. He's the real brains behind everything. I just tried tagging along for the ride. Oh. <laughs> but uh, I, when we first met Andres, uh, what they had developed uh, was a full racking system. It was, I mean, really beautiful. It was a really great system, but they had an, a clip at the time that was about this big. No joke. It was gigantic. I like to call it the Rolls Royce of attachment clips. Wow. Uh, because it ran like a Rolls Royce, but it also cost about the same amount as one. <laughs> uh, uh, so this was back in 2017. We, we got great feedback from customers and you know, Andres is speaking more to it, but this, all of these concepts that he was working on as part of the DOE Sunshot Initiative, it was all feeding into this concept and all, and I mean, I can't even tell you how many different iterations that Andres has been through. So he's been solving this problem for nearly a decade now. Andres, how has this innovation changed or evolved over the course of this challenge? Uh, it's part of education too, a background that we have, sometimes in architecture of time to add as much function and benefits and value to the uh, least amount of effort. I think it's always a, a sign of, of, of good architecture and good design in general, engineering design as well. How has the American Made Network support you in rapidly getting your ideas into action, even despite the challenges of, you know, uh, the pandemic? Well, from my perspective, I, I haven't seen I, 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 I'm surprised how well Zoom has worked uh, keeping us all going. I'm, I probably have eight or nine Zoom meetings a week, and um, it is a little different than being face to face. But you know, the amount of time you save in flying and traveling and the carbon footprint that we all have from doing that, this, this, I think we're we're entering a new phase of the world. I, I still think that for certain types of things, you need to be in the room together. 
uh, build bonds and things. That that that's to happen. But again, I'm very pleased with how all this is going. The response I've seen from tracker manufacturers and racking manufacturers and carport manufacturers, they're they're all, you know, they can see it immediately. It's just now a matter of getting it fully, uh, fully commercialized, and they're going through that phase right now. And with the help of the DOE, thank goodness. I, I can't speak more highly of the American Made Network. Uh, we we came last, it was about a year ago actually where we submitted our first uh, round of applications. We found out in September, and we accelerated our time to market by three, four, four x. The American Made Network they've really assembled not just the testing resources we need. So we have, we have an amazing group at Sandia National Labs, working with people at UL, a bunch of different testing labs. They pulled that together, made that as easy and as as just straightforward as it could have been. We weren't just a couple of guys become, making cold calls. We had the backing of the Department of Energy, of NRL, people even like Greg seeing our information being publicized. So it made our sales process just go so much easier. Uh, people say, they see the DOE stamp, they say, no questions asked, I'll take this phone call. And I really don't think we would have had that type of success without the American.